Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're going to talk about intentions versus actions. And a lot of people in the MBTI community don't really realize the difference between the two. So when you start out learning the MBTI, naturally when you type T people, you tend to go by their actions. If somebody is rude to you, you might assume that they have low feeling. And if somebody seems to be very open to change and very excited about new things, well, you might assume that they're an intuitive, right? So. Often in this case, we tend to judge people based on how they act, not necessarily by the intention of the person behind it. Now, what makes the MBTI more complicated is that the MBTI typically is rooted in intention and in cognition rather than in behavior. And while behavior can be an indicator of a person's intentions, for example, typically if a person is systematically rude, most likely you could say that they are a person that doesn't really consider people's feelings very often, right? But uh, a lot of the time, personality can vary as a result of a person's mood. And so, what we typically miss is this, what is the person really thinking? Why is the person really doing it? And through this, we're not really doing psychology until we learn to understand another person's intentions. And now the question is, how do we understand what a person's intentions is? Well, typically, through conversation and uh, discussion with the other person. And so what you need to do is not just look at the person's behavior, but also try to ask them questions to try to get a better and deeper understanding of why the person does what it does, they do. And so you might ask, you know, hey, uh, I noticed you did this and I kind of thought it was kind of rude or what did you mean with it, right? And here you might, for example, learn that, oh, that person actually has a quite uh, strong grasp of cultural cues and in their country or in how they speak, this is a normal thing to do and nothing mean intended. And actually it's more often meant as a compliment, right? And here you might be confused like, oh, uh, so that person wasn't trying to be rude. Actually, they were trying to be nice and I didn't really realize that they were, right? And uh, this is where psychology happens because this is where we achieve a deeper understanding of a person. I mean, anyone can look at another person's actions and make a judgment and say, oh, you're being rude or oh, you're being mean or oh, you're being stupid or so on, right? But uh, with psychology, what you're really doing is you're trying to get deeper and to go, huh, how is that guy thinking? Why, what is their intention? And why do they say that? And what do they mean with it? And so 90% of the MBTI community doesn't really understand this. And 90% of the community is focused on the shallow cues uh, behaviors of people around them with no interest or understanding in the deeper aspects and layers of what a person is thinking about and why they feel the way they feel. 